he was the meanest young man has ever been in southwest Mississippi. He holds the record yet. And Uncle Versus spent about half of his time whooping new jeans. <laughs> now, he was forever more mean, just into something all the time. I remember one day Aunt Daisy DeLauder went over there, walked from her house to take one of them uh, mission books to Mrs. Ledbetter. They was going to try to study some kind of book, and Aunt Daisy could read. And she talked to book, and Aunt Daisy walked up the front stomp, and she heard something growling and dust coming out from under the doorsteps, and there come New Jean out from under that doorstep on his all fours. <laughs> A growling and a barking like a dog and bit Aunt Daisy on the leg. <laughs> Just bit a chunk out of her leg. Boy, get back. What in the world are you doing? He said, I'm playing dog. Can't you see? <laughs> Uncle Versy run out there and got a dried brush broom and commenced a whooping new jean. I've told you about that dog game you play. You done bit Aunt Daisy. And they brought her in the house and set her down on the bench, what sat alongside the dining room table. And Eugene come walking in. Uncle Versa said, you going to tell her you sorry for biting her? And Aunt Daisy said, well, I just know you want to be a sweet little boy. And Eugene said, sweet? If you want something sweet. And he reached and grabbed the syrup pitcher and popped the top off of it and turned that syrup pitcher bottom upwards on Aunt Daisy's head. <laughs> and them syrup commenced a, a pouring down over her ears and a running in her hair. <laughs> and Uncle Versa carried him out in the backyard and commenced to beating him, and you could have heard him all over that country. I run out there and said, Uncle Versa, please don't beat New Jean no more. This is awful. Let him go to the swimming hole with me said, all right, but you water them chickens, New Jean, before you go. New Jean run out there and raised up a chicken coop and caught four of the biggest, finest fryers you ever saw and come back and jobbed them down in the water well <laughs> and let the bucket down on them and said, y'all drink. Drink plenty of it. And let the well bucket unwind down on them palusha right down in the well now folks they drawed feathers <laughs> chicken bones and every other kind of thing you can imagine out of that well and it took about six months to draw it out clean enough to where they could drink water out of it new gene was forever more bad bad a while I recall one time me and my brother Sonny was going to the grist mill. That's where you take corn to have it ground up for cornbread, if y'all ain't cultured enough to know what a grist mill is. <laughs> we was driving by the Ledbetter house with our mules and wagon, and we heard the awfulest rackets you ever heard in all of your life. My brother Sonny stopped the mule and the wagon, he said, Jerry, listen, that sounds like some kind of animal in distress. Oh, 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 oh. I said, man, let's get away from here. That's some kind of varmint. <laughs> Sonny said, that's coming out from behind that Ledbetter house. <laughs> Ain't no telling what New Jean's doing. <laughs> And about that time, coming around the house from the back side of the Ledbetter home was a black and tan hound. What was howling and had his paws up over his eyes, a raking, and he was white as he could be, and it was obvious soap suds was all over him. <laughs> oh, oh, and he was scratching and rolling over on the ground and bellering. And Sonny said, man, tie these mules. Let's go around there and see what in the world is going on. We walked around on the porch, and there was New Jean Ledbetter. Had four hounds up in a washing machine. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Versa had the only washing machine in Amit County. It was a, one of them gasoline engine types. <laughs> and had one of them boards in there. What's that? Black and forth, back and forth. 
and he had four black and tan hounds over in there and had his mama's battling board and a great big box of octagon soap powder. <laughs> and every time one would stick his head up, New Gene would shove him back down in there and Sonny said, New Gene, what are you doing? He said, I'm gonna wash these dogs if it takes the rest of the evening. <laughs> We finally got him to let them dogs out of that washing machine and come on and go to the grist mill with us. <laughs>